Today we're talking about dimming LED light bulbs, and this is something that's a point of frustration for many people as they move from older technology like incandescent or halogen lighting, which is extremely easy to dim, to something like an LED. Now, uh, one of the tricks here is that old dimmers, it really didn't matter how they worked, and I'll spare you the gory details of all of the science behind it, but there are different ways that dimmers will play with the electrical waves to cause the light source to get dimmer. And LEDs, you can kind of think of them almost like uh, your cell phone or an electronic device. These are mostly electronics. And because of that, the electronics inside the bulb are much more sensitive to how they interact with something like a dimmer that changes the power going into the bulb. So a few factors, if you're looking at LED and you'd like to be able to dim it, uh, there are some considerations. The first is there are many LED products out on the market that are not dimmable and they should be clearly marked, but that's a factor to consider. Uh, most of the time these products are manufactured to meet a lower price point because they don't need the additional controls for dimming. Uh, this is a great option if you're looking to put LED lighting in a space where you know you don't have to dim them. But if you're looking to be able to dim, make sure those LED bulbs are actually dimmable. Another factor to consider is that uh, dimmers actually have a lifespan associated with them. And this is something, you know, we think about a light bulb because a light bulb will burn out after a certain period of time or get dimmer. Uh, we don't think of, of that with dimmers as often, but there is a life rating on a dimmer. So there's a chance if you have an older dimmer that it may just be beyond its useful life and may not be compatible with the newer LED products. And then another factor to consider is the wiring that you run into. And so if the wiring isn't done in a way that's compatible with the dimmer and the LED bulb, that's obviously something that would need to be, uh, you'd need to work with an electrician to troubleshoot exactly what's happening. One of the common questions we get is, how do I know what dimmer to buy? Or I've got an LED dimmer, how do I know what bulbs to buy? This is pretty tricky because uh, these dimmers and light bulbs are manufactured by different companies and they use different methods in some cases. And so it's the best approach is to look at the product and the dimmer that you're looking at and make sure that they're compatible on the manufacturer's website. And many cut sheets on the LED light bulbs or uh, if you're looking at a replacement for fluorescent tubes and that needs to be dimmable, uh, there are cut sheets that will give you recommendations of what dimmers work best with those products. So today we're going to look at this dimmer, which is the Lutron DVWCL153. This comes in a few different colors. Uh, we're looking at the white version here, but this is a widely compatible LED and CFL dimmer. Now notice we're saying widely compatible, and the reason is that we're not aware of any dimmers that are universally compatible with all LED lighting out there for some of the reasons we talked about earlier, but this is a great option if you're looking at a dimmer to put with LED light bulbs. Uh, I have an example of this dimmer uh, installed with an outlet right next to it here, and I have a socket. So what I'd like to do is actually show you how this dimmer works with a few different lighting products. I'm going to start with this. This is something that you might see uh, in a restaurant pendant or even in a bathroom vanity. Uh, these come in many different colors and this is a product by Satco. This is called a globe shape fixture and you'll notice this is on full brightness. I have our dimmer here with a slide switch on the side and this dims very smoothly without any flickering or strobing or popping on or off, which is what we call uh, moving a dimmer and the light bulb itself not responding very well. So you can see that the dimming range for this is pretty good and the dimming movement is very smooth for this fixture or for this particular uh, light bulb. Within the dimmer itself, if you remove the cover plate, there's also a small switch in the lower corner where you can actually adjust the range of the dimmer itself. So I have this one going all the way to the lowest dimming setting, and these uh, light bulbs respond extremely well to that uh, range, dimming range. Let's put in another product here. We'll go with something that you might find in a recess can or a track head. 
And again, these are, um, I'm gonna point this away from me a little bit. I have this dimmed all the way down and I'm gonna turn this on and you can see the light bulb comes on at full brightness. I can dim this down very smoothly or as smoothly as I can control the uh, switch here. And once again, we have uh, no flicker. There is no strobing. The light is staying exactly at the level that I put it at on the dimmer switch. Let's do one more. This is a PAR 16 shape. So again, this might be find it, found in accent lighting or track heads or maybe a small recess can. And here again, I'm about halfway on the dimmer. We'll go up to full brightness or we can let this dim all the way down. You can see there's a faint glow on that uh, light bulb or I can bring that up. So again, very smooth dimming capability with this dimmer. Um, to be very clear, this dimmer does not work with all LED light bulbs. Uh, they may not be dimmable or they may not be compatible with this particular model. So make sure that you're checking with the manufacturer. But this is a great option. Again, uh, it's the Lutron uh, DBCL. This works with LEDs and with CFLs on a widely compatible basis.